Hey guys, Matt from Hors. So today I'm going to be showing you how to repair a very deep scratch on your car. This would be a scratch that's gone through the clear coat, gone through the base coat and also gone through the primer. No sort of sanding or anything like that will remove this scratch. I'm going to show you a hack I've used for years to touch these in. The same was if you could put your nail in it, it needed to be repainted. But I'm going to show you how we can do this. Okay, so first of all, this is not an advertisement for nail polish. This is what we're going to use to touch in the scratch. I've read in my wife's uh, nail polish, but uh, you can get a lot of colors, pretty much any color nowadays in nail polish, and a lot of them are very, very similar to the car colors. So in this case, what I've got here is a color which is very, very near to the one I'm using. And I've got a little bit of black as well, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix a little bit of the black into the blue until I get the perfect match. Okay, so I know the nail polish I have is almost the same color, but it's a little bit light. So we're gonna mix in a little bit of black just to darken this down to get it to match the color. Okay, so I got my blue. I'm just going to put a couple of drops into a plastic container. Now we're going to take our black. And we're just going to put one or two drops in. Okay, so now we're going to mix them in together. I'm going to go back over to the car again and offer it up to the car. Okay, so it's getting very near. I think it needs a little bit more black. Okay, after some over and back a few times, I think we've got the colour perfect now. Now we're ready to start touching in the scratch. Okay, so we've got a little bit of blue nail varnish mixed up. We put a little bit of black nail varnish in just to get it to match the colour of the car. The next tip is, we don't want to use the actual brush that comes with the nail varnish. We want to use a fine headed brush like this. You can buy these for about a dollar, two dollars in your local art store. It's got a little fine tip on it and it'll make it a lot easier to touch in the scratch. Okay, so this is the part where you're going to have to have a steady hand. We're just going to put a little bit of the nail varnish on the brush, just on the outer tip, not too much. Okay, so now it's just a matter of taking our time just to touch in the scratch slowly. We don't want to get too much on. We just want to try and fill the void that was left. Okay, so we're going to let that go hard for about 10 minutes and then we're going to do a second pass and probably a third pass after that to fill in the void that's left. Okay, so that coat of nail varnish has gone hard. It's time for a second pass. Now I'm just going to get some nail varnish remover. Just a little drop. I'm just going to remove the excess nail varnish that's outside of the void of the scratch. Making sure not to rub too heavily. Okay, so it's really starting to take shape. You can barely see the scratch. But we're going to need something to protect this nail varnish from coming out in the future. So we've got two options. Okay, so option number one is we get some super tough uh, clear nail varnish top coat something like this super gel and it will protect it fairly good or and just because i have it i'm going to use this 2k clear coat i have i'm going to spray a little bit into the lid and i'm going to apply that over the scratch okay so i have my fine point brush again i have my little bit of 2k clear in the lid so now we're just going to take our time and fill in the remaining void that is left in the scratch this is the most important step I would say just take your time and make sure you spread it out evenly okay so I've just finished with the clear coat you can barely see the scratch anymore considering how bad this scratch was and how deep it was it's Pretty awesome results, I'd say. It's amazing what you can do with some nail varnish and a little bit of time. We mix up this color ourselves and it's something you can do at home. I'm gonna go one step further tomorrow and I'm gonna actually lightly sand down this clear coat with a bit of 2000 grit sandpaper and then polish it up. That way it'll be completely invisible. I hope this video has helped somebody with a deep scratch in the car. I know there's nothing worse than getting a really, really bad scratch. And I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.